Good evening to all my sisters in Christ. I hope you've had a blessed day. And what a privilege it is to sit with you tonight and chat about the Word and learn more of what God wants to tell us. It's been so much fun listening to our other sisters, teaching and um, yeah, giving us insight into Colossians 3 from verse 10. Jacqueline started and, and just reminded us that what Paul said, he said, listen, your old self is dead now. Christ came and he washed you clean. He paid the full price. So you cannot look like you did before. We cannot stay the same. We cannot speak, act, have the same behavior. We need to be different. We need to look different. We are now children, daughters of the king of kings we are royalty we cannot be dressed in the rags and the, the old clothes even if it's sometimes comfortable i was reminded of that i've got an old pair of pants that i love to put on i call them my house pants and my husband oh he always asks me please just throw those pants away they're so ugly and unflattering and and I'm like, no ways, I love it, it's comfortable. And I was reminded that even now, as, as a daughter of Christ, I sometimes still tend to quickly run back and go and see where's my old pants and put them on, you know? How many of us has let our tongue slip and said something? In the moment it felt right, it felt good. Having a swear word drop here or there, or just going in an old way, or having a party, drinking too much. Lots of times we revert to the old comfortable clothes just because it's easy. But Christ is calling us into a higher. He's saying, no man, we are royalty. Come on, girls. We need to shine for God. We need to look different. And then Chandra came with that beautiful picture of being, of being put in a wedding gown. You know, being dressed in a wedding gown, uh, gown, not for our own glory, but for God's glory. To shine and stand up and be radiant to a world that needs to see the beauty of Christ. And yes, it's like, like Paul, he, he talks about, you know, he reminds us to, to forgive each other. And like Jenny also reminded us of, you know, the reality the reality is that we are now in a new family, but we still, oh man, we, we still are only human and we still do so many things that hurt each other. We get cross with our brothers and sisters in Christ. We get frustrated, disappointed. I know just this week that, that sisters in Christ disappointed me. But I know I disappointed others. But Paul is like, listen, this is going to happen. We're a family. We're a new family. But let's sort it out. And let's, let's go and, and, and say sorry. Let's forgive where we need to forgive. Because the reality is it keeps us in bondage if we don't. And then we don't really, truly reflect the grace and mercy that was bestowed on us by Jesus. As he says, we must forgive as Christ forgave us. And then he goes on in verse 14 and says, But above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection. Above all things, put on love. Put on love, which is the bond of perfection. It reminded me a little bit of another verse in the Bible and we find it in Corinthians 13 where, where it says that it doesn't matter if we look like Christians maybe on the outside or do things and speak in tongues, cast out demons, do miracles, but we do it without love. It is no value to God. Whoa. So, so God places so much emphasis on love. And here again, Paul comes to the same conclusion. Above all things, cover this with love. 
and it binds it all together in perfection. And I had to ask myself, this love, how, how do I cover myself? How do I dress myself in this love? The Greek term that Paul uses refers to a, a garment, an outer garment. A garment that they put over all the other clothes to keep it clean, to keep it, um, to keep it nice so that when they go into houses, they still have nice clothes, clean clothes underneath. It reminded me a bit of, of a jacket of a nice jacket that you put over your clothes. I was like, Lord, but how do I put this on? And he said, but, but you know what? I am love. I am love. The only way I can get love is going to the, to the source of love, God himself. And I was reminded that we are a royal priesthood, we are princesses, we are royalty. And I don't know about you, but I love movies. And these old movies of the kings and queens, you always see they are dressed. They are dressed by other people. They don't dress themselves. God is, hello, you don't have to dress yourself. No, the act that you need to do is to come to me so that I can dress you. I, your father, the king of the universe, I want to dress you with a cloak of love. Every day, I want to put it around you. I want to tie it all together. That's what God, our father, wants to do. You know, I was reminded of, of being a mother and having my own children. When they're small, they can't dress themselves. And you have to help them. And my daughter, Linka, it's not older and she can dress herself very well. But I love, I love it when I can have a little bit of a dress up with her and then when I can choose what she has to wear. When I can say, Linka, come here. Let's put on your cloak. Put on your cloak for me. There we go. Let's keep this pretty little dress all clean and nice so when you get to the party, you will shine. And this is just like God. This is just like God. Thanks. You know, He's the one. He, he wants to dress you. My sister, He wants to dress us. And I've been trying it this week. And every morning when I go to Him, I'm like, Lord, here I am. I physically go and stand like this and say, Lord, please dress me with a jacket of love. Put on your love jacket. Surround me with your presence. Surround me with yourself. Because God changes our hearts. He changes the motive from which we work, from which we serve, from which we shine. And if we do it without God, we just fall back into the trap. We can try. We can really try and be meek and humble and gentle and being kind. Lots of times I've tried to have these virtues by myself. And all that happens is I get tired and it gets hard work. And I fall back in my old ways. And I think, oh, today I've been so kind. Just for the next day to have an amazing big tantrum. Because I've tried to do it from my own strength. And sometimes with the wrong motives. Sometimes we try and be a pretty Christian look nice to other people for people's praise or out of a place of self-righteousness maybe or, or pride and I think that's what Paul is wanting to tell us and, and implore us to just be careful of is let's be cloaked with love so that love itself, God himself is the one that will make all these beautiful virtues that we have on come to full blue come to full potential be kept pure be kept beautiful and he's the only one that can do that so my sisters i just want to ask you um, encourage you have an you know have an awesome night tonight and sleep well and be rested but tomorrow jump up and go to your father go to the king of kings and ask him to put on that cloak of love Let's pray. Lord God, we just come to you and we are so humbled 
and thankful that you, oh man, you are such an awesome father. And you, the King of Kings, you just love each one of us so much that you want to spend time with us. You want to put your cloak of love around us. You want to fill us with your presence. You want to cover us. And Father, I pray that you will do that in our lives. We want to surrender that to you, Lord. We want to ask you to do that in us every single day. Do your work in us. Do it through us. All for your glory. All for your glory. Lord, I pray that we will become that bride, pure, blameless, spotless, that shines, glorifies her King. And that our hearts will be changed and that it will just pump out a godly love that touches a, the world, that touches people who are so lost in darkness, who needs a touch of love, who needs God. I pray for that, Lord. Holy Spirit, come now, fill us and empower us to be daughters and a reflection of royalty. Help us to wear with pride our garments that you give us, that you dress us with. Help us to shine your light. We pray that in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So ladies, be blessed. May you have a lovely week. And put on your jacket. Bye.